One of my favorite sayings I learned in flight testing is that you've got to have a plan before you can deviate from it. As young captains in the Air Force, we always thought we knew more than we really did. We were always ready to go in with our hair on fire. And you know what? I don't need to plan this. I'll just wing it. And as you get a little older, you get a little wiser, you find out. It's not the plan that matters. It's the planning. It's the getting yourself ready for what goes in. General Eisenhower, President Eisenhower said, plans are useless, but planning is indispensable. It's one of my favorite sayings when it comes to leadership. You've got to have that plan before you can start to improvise, before you can start to adapt and overcome the challenges in front of you. You've got to have some kind of plan that shows you've thought about what's going into, what, into what's happening around you and prepares you for the unexpected. It's interesting when I talk to people about them wanting to get promoted in their company, them wanting to get more responsibility, them wanting to get a pay raise. One of the things that I think gets lost sometimes when we're thinking about getting a promotion or more responsibility or more benefits for what we do, the, the performance we put in at our company, is that we don't make people leaders, we don't give them more responsibility because they've done a good job in the past. That's part of it, but that's not the whole story. In the military, when you get promoted, when you move from one rank to another, you get what's called a promotion order. And on that promotion order, they read that promotion order, you take the oath of office again. But on that promotion order, they talk about two things. They talk about how the President of the United States has placed special trust and confidence in you because you have shown the capacity to serve in a higher grade. You are being a given promotion, not because of what you've done in the past in the military, but because of what we expect you to do in the future, to do great work in the future, to become a leader and to guide and mentor and lead and inspire other people to go do great things. No matter what our job is, if we are thinking about wanting more responsibility, wanting a promotion, that we don't think about what we've done in the past and look at a promotion as a reward. We think about what is it I want to accomplish in the future? What is it that I can bring to achieving the goals and objectives of our company or our organization? And then showing that I can do that, that I can get that special trust and confidence placed in me because I can serve in a higher capacity. We face a lot of challenges as leaders, and most of those challenges come from whatever the thing that is catching on fire that day is, the emergency that we're facing. Someone's not here, someone's lost something, the money didn't go through, something didn't get delivered on time. We're constantly dealing with those kinds of challenges as leaders, and that's important, but it's not the most important thing we do as leaders. The most important thing we need to do as leaders is develop the future leaders coming up behind us. Because someday, we're gonna to wanna to move on to a new challenge. We're gonna see something out there, whether it's getting a promotion, whether it's changing jobs, whether it's leaving and starting our own company, we're going to want to move on to a new challenge. And to do that successfully, to leave our organization better than we found it, no matter what our organization is, for-profit, non-profit, government, we need to build those leaders up behind us so that when we leave, they're ready to step in and take our place and make the organization even better.